You're tuned in to the Big Game Record Series with special thanks to Glacier Rifle Company. Precision and reliability for the ultimate hunting experience in lightweight carbon stock systems for Tika, Remington, Hauer and more. Explore more with GRC. So we're on to what is known as Te Orawera Herd, uh, a bit of Gisborne, a bit of Lake Waikare Moana. That's where we're starting off. Already I've had a uh, Urawera monster sent in. Uh, Mr. Hamiota Gibson, Sam the Trap Man, sent in this one. Graham Vetti, 17-pointer. Um, it was Sam's uncle. Unfortunately, he gave it to some demolition guys. If you've got that out there, you know where to find Sam the Trap Man. Uh, he's all over Instagram, um, and he's in all good bookshops these days. <laughs> Fantastic story written by Hamiota. Um, I was lucky enough to get down to... Down? Yeah. From Tokoroa down to the opening of Hamels 3.0, um, which is pretty cool to see Hamels back up and running. Um, and of course, Hamiora was there. He signed my copy, which was absolutely awesome. Um, if you've got an Uruweta trophy out there, uh, send it in. And if you've got this one from Graham Vetti, Hamiora would like to uh, have a yarn to you. So, as we said, we're starting off with Lake Waikare Moana. Um, it's Bart Halstrom, Hopuaruahine Valley, Lake Waikare Moana area, and it's 1956. It's 7x7, seven seven, so it was a good start. And this is a fantastic start, in fact. It's 42 by 44 and 2 and a spread of 42 and 4. So just on that alone, quality. Uh, span is 35 and 2, beams are 6 and 6, and the coronets are 9 and 6. So the symmetry so far has been fantastic. Coronets, uh, sorry we just did those. Brows, 12 by 11 and 4. Bays, 10 and 10. Big tick again. Trays are 13 and 6 by 15. Outer rolls are 13 and 4 by 10 and 6. Inner rolls, 13 and 7 by 8 and 4. Back tines are a whopping 23 and 3 by 22 and 4. And then the outer off the back tines are 2 and 6. And then the right side, side does a lot better at 10 and 2. So the total kicking off to Yorawera Herd is 354 and a quarter. Halstrom was a ranger for the Yorawera National Park. It was out stalking with Brian Holden, his father Tom Holden, and Ian Kay, the latter three from Gisborne. According to Brian Holden, he and his father had travelled well up one side of the river, eventually returning empty-handed to the party's campsite just before dark. After preparing the evening meal, there was still no sign of their two companions, so the Holdens decided to retrace their steps to the point where they last sighted them. They had not travelled very far before locating the other pair returning to the camp, Bard Hellstrom struggling through the heavy bush carrying the antlers of a big stag across his shoulders. He and Kay had located the stag roaring in heavy cover on the opposite side of the valley, from that being stalked by Brian Holden and his father. Halstrom, securing him after a stalk through the thick bush. Strangely, like is often the case, the Holdens had not heard the shots due to the prevailing conditions in heavy cover. According to Brian Holden, Halstrom had been aware of the stag's location before they set off, and knew he had been rutting on that side of the valley. Originally, it had been intended that Brian was to go with Hellstrom. It being later decided for him to accompany his father. The antlers were in the possession of N.K. for a number of years. Good start. <laughs> Next up, we have Philip J. Ward, headwaters of the Motu River, Gisborne LD. Anybody know what that means? Uh, Lakes District? Is that what we're going for? 2005. This is the New Zealand Big Game Record Series Volume 5, The Red Deer Part 1, written and compiled for the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association Incorporated by D. Bruce Banwell. With permission from the publisher by Halcyon Press, a division of Halcyon Publishing Limited, PO Box 360 Auckland, 1140 New Zealand. The book itself printed by Prolong Press Limited China. The copyright is D. Bruce Banwell 2009, first published 2009. All rights reserved. 